speaking of uh, Siege anime and, um, you know, anime, <laughs> um, Trigun Stampede uh, premiered uh, yesterday on the 7th. So, um, for those who don't know, it is animated in 3D by Studio Orange, and it's also doing something else unprecedented and telling a story that is different from the manga. As you can wow. as you can guess, these two things combined got fans of the original up in a tizzy. Even myself, admittedly, because um, because my problem was I was like, okay, I can I feel like a show that is already so beloved and is used to being animated in two D. You should probably just continue doing it in two D. I feel like that's a weird change to make. But also, I was like, okay, I can accept the CG, especially since it's orange. But then I was like, why did you change the character designs? what's going on and then i found out they were changing the story and i was just like oh god what's i'm not what's happening oh, brother i'm scared <laughs> and then i but slowly i opened up to the idea until i was honestly excited for it so the first episode was fun did you check it out i didn't get a chance to i was Damn. so wrapped up on twitter within the air anime like seeing how the fan base was reacting to it that i never i like I watched the anime, went on Twitter, and was like, wow, look at us all be completely normal about it with sarcasm. And then I went to sleep because I was just so tired after being excited all day. <laughs> but I am going to check it out because I, um, I am slowly getting into Trigun. I've been reading the manga first. Vash has a very special place in my heart. He is the best kind of protagonist that love goofy guys. But I'm definitely going to check it out because it looks great. It looks fantastic. Uh, maybe it's uh, specifically the people I've seen, but I feel like I've mostly been seeing people be, being pretty positive about it. There are a few people who are just like, because it's CG, it has to be bad. And a lot of those people who have that opinion literally have not watched it. But then I've seen the opposite where people who were like, uh, who were like afraid about it because it was CG watched it and went, wait, this is like really good CG anime. <laughs> and, and people are, and some people, certain people are like really surprised. Like, wow, I thought it was going to be horrible. It was going to look disgusting because they're used to cg anime being disgusting and i'm like no bro cg anime has come a long way it looks amazing especially studio orange is the best at it watch b stars b stars is the best and both b stars and trigun does a thing where it isn't necessarily trying to completely just straight up mimic 2d using cg it's doing i feel like not the exact same thing that something like spider verse and arcane does but something similar where it's bringing the two t the two um together Mediums to together. i was gonna say medium but i feel like medium didn't work but um it was bringing the two together to work seamlessly but still it's still obvious which is which but in a way that still works and it still is aesthetically pleasing and you know nice to look at and um right. yeah speaking of you know fash being goofy you know he's his goofy self the characterization of the characters the characters that we see in this episode who are from the original series which is um fash and uh meryl they're you know they feel like the, the characters from the original series they don't feel too different which is great uh, it's weird that Millie has been replaced by an old man. I think I like the idea that Meryl is a reporter instead of a an insurance person, even though I think insurance person thing is like much more interesting because it's different. <laughs> I feel like that's 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 different. And you always have like in these type of stories with like these super powered people that like the main woman character is like a reporter. That's very basic. That's that's you know right. we say that all the time. So I think the insurance thing was a much more interesting take on that. So I'm okay with the the change, but I think that it's much less you know it's a very kind of boring change in my opinion. But as long as the character's yeah, still yeah. fine. But the fact that Millie is gone, it makes me upset. <laughs> and I'm like, why did you replace Millie with this old man? No one likes this old man. Granted, I know we've barely seen him, but if anything, if you really wanted her to have a partner that was a gruff, like a grizzled reporter, a seasoned reporter. It could have still been Millie. It could have still just been a woman. It could have still been Millie, but like a uh, older, gruffer Millie or something like that, right? Right. It's like because the thing don't about be scared is that he's a drunk, and the thing about Millie is that she's very clumsy. So you could just made it like she's clumsy because he's a drunk, and that would have been interesting. And you would have still had the same Millie um, characterization. It's weird. I hope that Millie still shows up. I hope that they didn't completely remove her character and replace her with this guy whose name is, and I kid kid you not, Roberto De Niro hilarious but i think i heard people complaining about that on twitter but i didn't realize that it was that bad yeah so Ooh. so um it's the animation especially is gorgeous especially the um the, the action but the one thing i'm afraid of so like i said they're making story changes but what i'm realizing is that there might be a very specific reason why they made story changes that i'm not a fan of 
And it feels like the changes they've made so far may be for the sake of picking up the pace and rushing through the story. And that oh makes me nervous. Because in the first episode, you get... Honestly, if you haven't seen the original, I honestly would suggest watching the original first. Because otherwise, you'll get some major spoilers for stuff that gets showed literally at the very end of the first season, or the only season of the original. Yikes. At the Not even, like, literally, the series opens up with something that's meant to be a big revelation in the manga and the the original anime. And I'm just like, you're starting with this? Oh, what? Right. This should have, like, it's like, I, I feel like it's still going to be good, but, like, I, I started, when I first heard about Stampede, I started rereading the manga. And, mm-hmm. you know, manga's good. I'm currently on volume two of Maximum, because I never finished Maximum. So I'm, I'm excited gotcha. to finally make, work my way through all of it. But I got through the vast majority of it. I think I only had like a couple volumes left. So I'm a volume two maximum right now. And like, yeah, they build up to this big reveal that I'm not going to spoil. Um, but like, that's very surprising that you wouldn't have, um, you know, guessed. But they're kind of starting the series off with it. And I'm like, that's this is a strange decision to make. And it feels like it's because they're trying to just rush through the story. And that sucks. And hopefully it's still good. But I, I just think that's a really bad decision. I think they could have still worked with making changes to the stories with the new designs with the new you know art direction and animation style while still somewhat following the original story but you know what it also feels like and i hope isn't the case i really hope this isn't the case that they might end up cutting a lot of the quote-unquote filler not like actual filler from the anime that they added to you know let the manga you know get ahead of them but i'm talking like Mm. filler the way that it's used in in a story in general to kind of like give you a break in between the big story beats that type of filler yeah the type of thing it's like that the type of parts of a, a yeah the type of parts of a story that really gives you good character moments but doesn't necessarily push the main plot forward that type right. of filler it seems like it feels like they might end up cutting that stuff granted i have absolutely no concrete evidence about this other than how the pacing in that first episode felt kind of fast and they were throwing a lot of stuff that should have been revealed later at you immediately. I, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I could be completely wrong. I want to point that out. I'm just making assumptions and I hope I'm wrong, but I don't know, man. It's not looking like I will be. Thanks. And it's like, I hate, cause it, it, it feels like recently, like as of late media was, there's been like this push of like, story should not have filler at all like no filler whether it's like a comic a manga a, a written narrative they're like filler is bad and i it that scares me because it's like filler is important uh it's not as important as the narrative but it can't like a story can't always be just the narrative because yeah, it's, if because it's just the na- people mistake mm-hmm. filler for what filler is in anime it's because too many people nowadays not too many it's not like it's a bad thing it's just that anime is popular it's no longer seen as a super nerdy thing and, right. and everybody watches anime, no matter who you are. So because of that, when people think filler, they specifically think of anime filler. And anime filler is made, is usually completely non-canon and is made so that it gives them, it gives um, the manga time to get ahead of the anime so that they actually have material from the Something actual to story to animate and to write for. But actual filler in stories like, for example, American cartoons, filler is used to give you a break in between big story moments and it still furthers the story just not the the plot instead it furthers the characters and their growth and it lets you learn more about them and what they do or sometimes it's just fun to just give you a break from things and sometimes that's 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 necessary because if everything is just plot moving forward constantly then it feels like you know characters drive the plot and if you don't really give those characters time to to grow or time to breathe then the story ends up feeling rushed yeah it becomes like a why do I care about these characters and their growth when I know nothing about them so yeah it's just we gotta let things have filler in the way that we just described it not filler for the sake of you know letting the manga catch up or letting the anime yeah. catch up to the manga it's like let let things breathe let them you know because it's a breather for the characters and then it's also a breather for the watchers or the readers and it's like that's important I can't watch or read something where it's just stuff is going on all the time. That's why I dropped JoJo because it's just like <laughs> there's it's something is always happening. I just give me a minute to like because I think that majority get my life together. You I, know, I think the majority of JoJo is like filler stuff. It's just them doing random stuff all the time. <laughs> I love JoJo. JoJo is great. I, that is fair. That is fair. The only reason I haven't been able to finish this sixth season is because 
it they it's on Netflix and because it's on Netflix they release it all at once which isn't necessarily a hard rule because they released Arcane in three episode chunks and I wish they did something similar like to that with Jojo because they release it all at once I don't feel like watching it whereas if it was one episode per week I'd feel more comfortable sitting down and watching one episode a week and I don't know I just I'm not the biggest fan of binging something all at once the moment it releases gotcha gotcha 